Hi guys, T Tuesday the 26th of January 2021 and I'd like to uh, show you uh, some more of the, the damage that the storm caused, the snowstorm from the storm Philomena. Um, uh, this, is, this is a tree that's obviously taken quite a, quite a big hit of, uh, of snow and it's brought it down. It's been a big split up the top there, all the lots of damage. So I just thought I'd give you a, a quick uh, video to show you how we're going to go about cleaning it up. Uh, this is a steel MS181, a uh, pretty good tool to be using and uh, let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, we're going to uh, speed it up just so that you don't uh, have to watch the whole thing and also uh, take the sound down so I can explain a little bit to what I'm doing. Basically, uh, starting off just trimming off all the small twiggy branches that's coming off the main stems and then logging as I'm going and clearing as I go. So. Uh, one of the things that's really important is that you've got your feet on good solid ground and you feel like you've got a very good balance and that you're not overcompensating. Um, you hold the, you can see that my arms are mainly into my sides so that I'm getting um, a strong grip on top onto the uh, chainsaw. It's really very important. Um, as I'm cutting, I mean, you've got to remember, I have been doing this a while, so uh, I don't quite do it this fast, <laughs> if only, but um, you would see that I do kind of have a good understanding of which, how the branches are going to fall down, and um, How, they're, how the chainsaw is going to react with the with the wood. I mean, this is this is why I, this is kind of a good way to do it because the the branch is being held sort of in a solid place. You know, it's, it's still attached to the tree. So I just, as you saw there, just trimming away all the all the small ones and just working my way up to the thicker wood. Um, keep clearing. And uh, now I'm just checking to make sure that how this bigger lump's going to fall. Cut through it a little bit at one point. And um, there you go, just, just logged it down into two or three pieces. Um, yeah, just trying to always well, keep, just keep working around and looking at it from different, different sides. You'll gain different vantage points just by moving around a bit but like I say just make sure your feet are really well planted um, and kind of a move around and see where you can get um, the most comfort comfort it's all about your own comfort that that branch was completely dry that's why I took that one down and I'm just now working my way off cleaning the cuts that's another thing when you make sure the cuts are nice and clean and like I've said before keep them at an angle so that the any water or rain that runs in just runs away and runs off okay so that's more or less it you can see still got a bit of work to do getting the, getting the firewood out taking the small branches off everything will get used up uh, and um, this is all that's left of this side of the tree, but it will recover. As I said before in another video, nature is incredibly resilient and always comes back. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. Take care and see you on the next one. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.